Hello, this work is about augmented reality for television. Specifically, it is about understanding what augmented reality is for home entertainment in the living room. Applied to television, augmented reality can be a lot of things. For example, it can immerse viewers into an interactive storytelling space that enables fantasy worlds to break out of the confines of the TV set as well as to bring in aspects of the physical world. As part of a televised show, the action can extend to the living room to create a sense of actually being there. In this context, it is important to ask what ARTV is to understand the potential of AR for television and to sustain growth in this area on solid foundations. We make two contributions in this work. First, we conduct a survey on augmented reality for television in order to understand past efforts, critical ideas and key projects. We examine the various perspectives on augmented and mixed reality from which we extract key characteristics for ARTV and identify areas of investigation from TVX related to ARTV, such as ambient media for interactive television. We then introduce a conceptual framework called the Augmented Reality Television Continuum, which is a two-dimensional representation space for concepts, devices, systems, and applications for augmented reality television inspired by the one-dimensional reality virtuality continuum of Milgram and Tishino from 1994. We also differentiate Augmented Reality TV from Augmented Virtuality TV, a complementary concept equally covered by our conceptual framework. Our method is composed of four steps. In step one, we start from the perspectives and definitions of general proposed augmented and mixed reality systems, examine current classifications and overview research on technical challenges for the field. This step enables us to provide an answer to the question, what are the foundations for ARTV? In step two, we perform a targeted literature survey of previous work implemented augmented reality for television to understand what has already been achieved in ARTV. Having established the foundations and understood the state of the art, we proceed to identify relevant connections between ARTV and other areas of investigation from TVX, such as multimedia alternate realities, ambient media for interactive television. This step enables us to understand what makes ARTV a specific kind of television experience. In step 4, we identify key components for ARTV, which we build into our new concept or framework, the Augmented Reality Television Continuum. In our paper, we present a chronological examination of perspectives on augmented and mixed reality, from which we identify key concepts, implications for ARTV, and connected areas of scientific investigation from TVX and EMX. For example, in 2016, Ronald Azuma characterized augmented reality as a new form of media. By adopting this perspective, augmented reality systems are implementers of a specific kind of ambient media with characteristics from both the real and the virtual world. The implications for ARTV is that augmented television is a new medium for a new digital media experience and the connected TVX and IMX area is ambient media. Please see the paper for more details. Our exploration has revealed many key characteristics of ARTV. For instance, we saw that the reality virtuality continuum introduced by Milgram and Kishino in 1994 represents the most accepted go-to source for defining AR and to distinguish mixed reality from augmented reality. Therefore, we adopt the reality virtuality continuum as the basis for our conceptualization of augmented reality TV. However, while the continuum of Milgram and Kishino can be successfully employed to characterize the degree of mixture between real and virtual, its one-dimensional design is insufficient for our purpose. Instead, we need to consider the specifics of the television watching experience where a physical TV set is placed in a physical living room. In our work, we recognize the fact that each of these two entities 
world and TV can be independently implemented. By adopting this perspective, we propose and introduce a two-dimensional conceptual framework for augmented reality television. The horizontal axis going from a completely real to a completely virtual environment is actually Neil Graham and Kishino's reality virtuality continuum that applies to the living room environment or the world. The vertical axis going from a completely physical TV device to fully virtual televised content is our adaptation of Neil Graham and Kishino's continuum for television. Together, these two orthogonal axes characterize the various ways in which a television experience can be augmented in terms of the world, the televised content, or both. In this conceptual framework, content can very flexibly flow between the living room and the TV set, while the living room and the TV set can independently flow across their respective continua from real to virtual. We call this space the Augmented Reality Television Continuum. To demonstrate the utility of our conceptual framework, we enumerate in the paper various types of ARTV generated from the mixture of, of the two axes. For example, the conventional world and TV represents the conventional TV viewing experience where neither the TV nor the room are augmented. The corresponding point is the bottom left of our conceptual space. Another example is the conventional world and conventional TV, but with on TV augmentation. In this category, contextual augmentations are shown on the TV screen. Examples include Collabora TV, Audience Silhouettes, Teletext, and Picture in Picture. In this case, augmentation is perceived to be off the TV screen, for instance, on the wall behind it, in front or next to the TV set. Implementations may involve handheld devices, head mounted displays, or video projection based technology. In the conventional world, virtual world TV category, a physical TV is not needed because content is presented either in a virtual TV frame or without a TV frame altogether. Examples include TV projected on the wall and when a storyteller appears to be sitting in the living room in the viewer's space. Another case is where the living room is augmented directly. This often requires spatial understanding of the surfaces present in the living room for a meaningful alignment of the computer-generated graphics. Viewers experience an augmented world but watch a conventional TV screen. The world can be augmented and so can be the TV set either by means of on-TV or off-TV augmentation. The degree of augmentation of each component, world and TV, positions implementations of this category at various locations in the AR-TV continuum. Yet another category is achieved when the world is augmented, but the physical TV is virtual, like in this case. The virtual world conventional TV resembles the augmented virtuality of the reality virtuality continuum of Neil Graham and Kishina. A virtual world is augmented by a physical TV set. As a use case, imagine watching your favorite TV show as a live video feed of your physical TV screen while wearing a virtual reality headset, but still being physically present in the same room with friends watching the same physical TV screen. Finally, the physical TV set is replaced by one or more virtual screens. This includes the scenario where a virtual TV is aligned to a virtual model of a conventional TV set in order to recreate a familiar TV viewing experience in a virtual space. Please refer to our paper for more discussion and examples. In our work we found that AR TV can be many things and that prior work has implemented it in various ways, from on TV augmentations to off-TV content visualized via augmented reality-enabled handheld devices, head-mounted displays, wall and room size projections, and holograms. By drawing from the various perspectives and key properties that we examined, we can conclude that augmented reality TV reveals itself as a specific type of experience, immersion, media, service, and gateway for televised content. While the specific implementation may vary, 
what is important at this moment is to have a rigorous basis to structure future research and developments, to be consistent in our terminology and to communicate our understanding of augmented reality television precisely by relating to proper frameworks. Our continuum is an attempt toward such a systematization. There is more work that lies ahead, such as understanding better the difference between augmented and mixed reality TV, further exploration of augmented virtuality television, and connecting our framework to other projects such as XR access for people with disabilities. We thank our sponsors for making this research possible. Thank you.